You know, before we head downtown, let's spend some of this XP. In part two, I debated whether to do firearms or melee. The answer is yes, we're gonna do both. Two in melee, two in firearms. A lot of points of dementation that gives us mass hallucination. Anyone near you suffers mild hallucinations and a negative two penalty to firearms, melee, brawl, combat, defense, and feeding defense. But our investment is geared towards getting more dialogue options, mostly later on. Two and obfuscate. We can move freely while invisible. And we can run. We'll still be revealed if we interact with the environment or touch anyone or containers. Any attack that breaks obfuscate will deal double damage. Compare that to level 5, it still breaks if we touch people or containers, but the damage bonus is triple, and we can perform stealth kills without breaking obfuscate. That's something to think about. I can definitely think of one use for that later on, but I'm just not sure if it'll justify the 20 XP. That's a question for future us. This is good for now. I did leave some points unspent, I always do. Comes in very handy in case I find that this stat isn't high enough to proceed or that stat isn't. That approach has served me very well over the years. Mass hallucination and hysteria have the same symbol, good to know. And mass hallucination costs two blood. Okay, I think I'll stick with hysteria for the most part. Where to? Not here change my scene. Why am I talking to you? I'm not going anywhere. Get this big yellow beetle scuttling towards my destiny. Man, Bloodlines really wants me to use a cab. Let's drain it. Let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with it? Ah, huh, Lick. <laughs> Let's pull out its eyes and its tongue and its teeth. I want its teeth. Camarilla fuck. <laughs> Boys, I think we could all use a little entertainment. Those of you sitting in the first few rows will get wet. Son of a bitch! Leave. There's three of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> Three of us. What are you gonna do? Shoot us? This ain't over. We'll find you. You too, Rodriguez. You're both dead. Nobody messes with the Sabbat and lives. Keep moving. Trouble sure seems to like you. Good effort. Execution needs a little work. You look like shit. Name's Nines. What happened to one through eight? Same thing that happens to a lot of anarchs, Malk. But you already know that somehow, don't you? Should have been more careful, newbie. This ain't the burbs. What do you know? I will let everyone in shouting distance know. Your face is familiar. Do you have your own cereal? Kid, I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. I like stories. This is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. I love the Sabat's body language after he gets shot, stamping his feet, pointing. It's a whole undead temper tantrum. Good shit. Baby sale. <laughs> hey, the tallow from the fat of a man. Nines invited us to come see him at the last round. Why keep him waiting? Ooh. 
The Reckoning. It seems to be a reference to World of Darkness's Year of the Reckoning line of campaigns, including Hunter the Reckoning, revolved around vampire hunters, appropriately enough. A Hunter the Reckoning game came out a couple of years before Bloodlines. I haven't played it, but it got good reviews. Different genre, though. There was also plans for a Hunter the Reckoning movie. I think Yui Bowl had optioned the rights, but it was canceled. Please yourselves on whether that was for the best. Well, if it ain't the talk of the town, post a child for Camarilla Benevolence. What errand does the prince have you running today, boy? The jester plays his little games and sends his little pawn before him. Jester? What? What the hell did you say? Hold on. You're Malkavian, right? Yeah. Oh, you doubly screwed. Crazy as hell and the prince's bitch. Little pawn, you said? Yeah, you got that right. Maybe you're not as crazy as you look. I see he of the name of numbers. Greetings, Helter Skelter. Huh? How did... Damn. Malkavians in a goddamn insight. That shit is creepy. <laughs> anyway, yeah. My name is Skelter. I do my part to keep California a free state for the Anarchs. Why do you curse the Camarilla? The Camarilla just ain't necessary. Their rules is just common sense shit. The masquerade and all that. Sure, it makes sense. Like the Ten Commandments. You know the Ten Commandments, don't you? Twelve plagues in the culling of the gilded calf. Yeah, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not kill. Sounds good, but you and me both know that shit don't always fly. What if some society like the Camarilla comes along and just up and kills you if you break one damn commandment? True. I seek a path more structured. Your words wear truth like a well-fitted truss. Right. See, we weren't meant to live like that. Man, I followed someone else's rules for three years in Vietnam. But it wasn't until after the embrace that I understood real oppression. Tell me of Entropy's Childer. The Anarchs? We are the only ticket to free living in the afterlife, my friend. Does freedom come so hard to fiends such as we? You've got to understand, Kindred. You're carrying a 6,000-year curse in your blood. No matter how powerful it makes you feel... I feel the blood of familiar friend. The red liquid casts a dark shadow on my soul. That blood is a tangle of chains that's going to leave you bound in servitude the rest of your existence. Your words are a gelatinous jumble. Your lingo is labyrinthine. Your elders command the blood. They control the blood and the blood listens. You'll never even hear their call. But the blood will. And it'll make you obey. Legends and wives' tales and little more. Mm, how do I break these ancient chains? That shit stretches all the way back to Cain, man. Nothing you can do. Some ancient sleeping in a tomb half a world away has a bad dream, and you gon' feel that shit. Like it or not. Do you speak of the Dark Father? Cain, man. Father of all vampires. Killed his brother Abel and was cursed by God to walk eternity feeding on the blood of his children. Some heavy shit, man. The son of Adam and Eve? Surely your words are false and facetious. Do you believe in such a boogeyman? Keep your voice down. Is Cain real? I don't know. Not sure I want to know. I would offer him a worm-free apple. But where do you go with these words? The point is... With this curse pulling your strings, you really want to sign away your right to fight by joining the Camarilla? you also hide behind the masquerade's veil? I don't need to bear my fangs to feel good about myself. The masquerade is a fruity Camarilla labor. Other than that, I ain't got no problem with it. Live and let live. We got enough to worry about. Definitely a product of your time, Skelter. Hallelujah and holy rollers. You know, speaking of the masquerade, I just thought of something you might be able to help us out with. Shit, we just met, and you're already trying to put me to work. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Come on, tell me the answer. You have only a few more moments to propagate your ponderings. There's this girl who's been making a lot of noise lately. She's a real pain in the ass. She's a ghoul of this one Toreador creep who disappeared. What is the name of his ghoulish girl? Her name is Patty. 
She hangs out in the clubs downtown. She used to show up around here and act like she was everybody's best friend. It was all fun and games until her vampire sugar daddy stopped calling. Now she can't get her blood fixed and shit ain't so fun no more. Tell her that her sugar daddy has lost his sweetness. Man, she's been told he was dead. She don't listen. Just ask again louder. Damn junkie. She's gonna make a scene and get us all some real heat. What heat do you speak of? Vampire hunters, man. You start doing stupid shit and breaking the masquerade and you'll see what I'm talking about. Trust me. Hunters are the kind of trouble you don't... Wow, you got louder, Skelter. About the prickly problem with ghoulish Patty. She's crossed the line. Only time that mouth ain't blabbing is when it's sucking vampire blood. She's gotta disappear. Do this, and we'll keep it our little secret, you hear? I'm no anarch housekeeper, Helter Skelter. I will take this mission for the masquerade. All right, have fun. I'd love to do this one myself, but I know a sire. Just let me know when it's done. That's a curious thing to say. He just said, I don't need to bear my fangs to feel good about myself. Two minutes later, it's, I'd love to kill this loudmouth ghoul on my own, but I know her blood daddy and I'd feel all conflicted and shit. But doing it indirectly through you? Yeah, that's cool. Skelter's more yeah. cammy than he wants to admit. I seek wisdom about my carnivorous condition. You've got to understand, Kindred. You're carrying a 6,000-year curse in your blood. No matter how powerful it makes you feel... So you said. We've been through this, buddy. That blood is a tangle of chains that's gonna leave you bound in servitude the rest of your existence. You're really stuck on this, man. Your elders command the blood. They control the blood, and the blood listens. You'll never even hear their call. But the blood will, and it'll make you obey. Uh, great. Can I ask you a few more questions? Yeah? I can ask him about that again, and forever, apparently. I see a vision of someone. Yeah? Who do you want to know about? Tell me of the Dark Father. What of Jack? That's the man there. What righteous kindred. I wish he'd take a more active stance in our fight, but fuck, man, he's Jack. Jack just does his thing. God help anyone who gets in the way. May I mine your gray matter? Yeah? I see a vision of someone. Yeah? Who do you want to know about? Yeah? I wasn't here before either. I just didn't know it at the time. I know you. Hold on, what's this? We play in darts and so close to Jack, too. Not a great plan. Well, well. Look at who made it back in one piece. Is it me? How is Santa Monica, kiddo? Please let it be me. Sights I was not there to see. The lady was sad and beautiful. I followed the bloody road I was set upon. What do you seek, demon? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, kid. You're not reporting for duty here, so loosen up, okay? We're just chatting. Comprende? Telling a Malkavian to loosen up. You really want to open that door, Jackie boy? I've perused no primers on undead etiquette. It seems all demons are demanding their due. That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics from when you were alive, huh? Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? What? You saying that's just me? <laughs> Nine swooped in like death on demon's wings. Yeah, not a moment too soon, huh? <laughs> he said you guys let those sabat go, too. Nines must be getting soft. How could you pass up that kind of fly? Well, we let two of them go. Why does Nines keep saving this little fly? Well, well he was left sireless, too. I don't know, maybe that's it. Well, he's got a thing for the little guy. And perhaps I am merely a pawn to be played by this street prince. You're free to choose who you trust, kiddo. May I mind your gray matter? Sure thing, kiddo. Fire away. Tell me of the secrets of the Sabbat. The Sabbat are worthless, man. Fake tits on a zombie worthless. Fun to watch, though. Like the Three Stooges with chainsaws. They cursed the Camarilla? What's their major malfunction? The Sabbat are in the same business as the Camarilla. Sabat have a little longer chain, but they're slaves all the same. May I mine your gray matter? Moving right along. Spin me a tale of the Anarchs. That's us, so I'm told. What'd you want to know? How long have they raged against the machine? Yeah, I could tell you about the history of the movement about our struggle. <laughs> What's any of that shit mean, anyway? 
Do we want to sit through history class here? Oh, come on, Jack. Do it for the lore. Power is in knowing the past. I'm no scholar, kid, but I've been around. Seen more and done more than most vampires ever will. I don't know that our situation's ever going to be easy. But some things you gotta decide are worth fighting for. Okay, so what do you think is worth fighting for? How to win such a Gordian game? Fight harder than the other son of a bitch. Every time I yank a jawbone from a skull and ram it in an eye socket, I know I'm building a better future. <laughs> All right. All right. Does Nine share your grisly visions? You bet, kid. Is Nine's the chief of the Anarch tribe? As much as anyone is. Nines is a stand-up guy. Takes the politics a little too seriously, though. Came up during the Great Depression, so his brain's wired to that shit. And the rest of the wolves that run with Nines? Yeah, I'm not sure the story on most of them. Nines crew. What blood runs in your vein? Bruja. Most everyone here has Bruja blood. My shadow darkens other domains. Kind of surprised we had to ask about the Bruja origin. I figured we'd know that. Hmm. Him first. You showed up. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. There are words spilling out of your mouth. You should close it. More. You got a right to know the score. The Camarilla? This is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans, and looking for a little power than those kindred sired for their own schemes, and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. What it works out to is this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. Aren't we all just one big happy family named Camarilla? I would leave my head to listen, but my body must go, and they are a set. Ah ha ha, rebel without a clue. Don't you understand yet? The prince is not the head vampire? LaCroix? Shit. LaCroix's just the guy who backstabbed and wheeled and dealed his way into becoming king son of a bitch of all the local Camarilla. Him and any of the traitors that sided with the Camwant power here, they'll get what's due. Let me hear your truth. I learned the way of this world during the Depression. Bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what L.A. has been. An anarch free state. The Camarilla is a sapling here? Free state? Well, I usually just walk off with stuff anyhow. The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the Anarchs, didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now LaCroix and crew pop in like they never left? Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. You and the friends don't golf on the weekends? Are you the Prince of Thieves and are these your merry men? Meet, M-E-A-T. Meet with them. Baloney all around. I got their meeting right here. Isn't this where your theme music kicks in? Ha ha ha. Stereotype. You the Prince of Thieves and these are your merry men? Don't use me and Prince in the same sentence, Malk. I fought to keep L.A. free since I was embraced. Long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't bit it or switched sides. The most veteran soldier on the battlefield. Is this a comedy club? This is all a joke, right? Come on, where are the cameras? You and the Prince don't golf on the weekends? LaCroix represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck-up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place LaCroix belongs is in an urn. The salt of the earth, mud under his nails, and manure for our brain. My mind is still soft. Any shape I should set it in? Here's what I tell all the new blood. One, you get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. But you rampage around here, you get put down. Two, don't kill when you feed. No reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to slake the beast without leaving a trail of dead. Three, the Camarilla's full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. Because a speech ain't going to save your ass when you're staring down the barrel of a shotgun. Interesting words. I will savor them. Teach me the razzmatazz. After picking your ass up off the pavement back there, yeah. I can tell you don't even know the basics. Hold your hands up like this. And keep your body at an angle. Makes you harder to hit. Keep your thumbs out of your fists and put your weight into your punches. 
interesting words. I will savor them. You poor bastard. Listen, LA's the school of hard knocks, so keep your friends close and your enemies in a barbecue pit. Once you square things with LaCroix, don't give that son of a bitch the time of night. I got my eye on you, kid. Ick, squishy. So his explanation was good for one point of brawl. All right, you. Sabat chased you in here, Cammy. You are the damn soul of distress, yes? Damn sail. Are you a stubborn boat? I'm damsel. Someone talking shit about me over in that ivory tower? Who said it, huh? I'll kick their ass. Kicking them in the head would be more effective. The only words spoken were in my head. Lunatic. I'd give you a piece of my mind, seeing as how you're just another do-boy for the Camarilla. But shit. No amount of good sense penetrates that white noise you malks call a brain, does Fuck it? Fuck you, damsel. The words of seven and eights I ignored, but to nines I listened. These words from an anarch ooze with hypocrisy. Something is plaguing you. What? Weird you say that, yeah. You might say something is plaguing me. A plague bearer, as a matter of fact. Plague bearer? This word is unfamiliar to me. Help my mind digest this creature. A plague bearer's a fool that doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can. And kindred that feed on them start spreading disease. Enough gets sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. This mess is the Anarchs alone to sweep under the rug. My mind wanders elsewhere. I am gone. Can't you just shoo the dirty carrier pigeon away? Seen old yeller? May sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearer's gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. My body bloats with boredom. I will do this. When the children make a mess, it is up to the parents to clean it up. I will roll it down my brain and see if it sticks. Another question. My neck owes a debt to the Anarchs. What shall I do? One of our boy's ghouls? Name's Paul. Lives nearby in the Skyline Apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. He looked like death. That's an interesting choice of phrase, wouldn't you say? I will touch this ghoul in his mind's secret places. Does anyone in the city not drink our blood? The ghoul I will see. Wait. If Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pop. So many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. I will spread my mind around the city of angels. See you, damn sail. The broken brains of the city's forgotten. I shall play there. I wonder something from your mind first. Yeah? The number for a name. No one like him in this world or the next. He's to the Anarchs what George Washington was to the colonies, what Ho Chi Minh was to Vietnam. He is the L.A. Anarchs personified. He's a great leader, and yet he's humble. I'd die for it. He wears no face but his own in a city of masks. No one like him in the Camarilla or otherwise. Anything else? The jester in his ivory tower. Who the hell does he think he is coming into town claiming Camarilla authority over the city? We kicked them out 60 years ago. It's like England coming back and telling the U.S. how they should do things. Fuck LaCroix. You fear the lost children will return to their parents. How can you not like a jester? The children have played in this yard longer than I knew. Another question. Yeah? The children of the Camarilla. We are about passion, Cammy, and freedom. Things most Camarilla types just can't understand. I could go on and on, but Skelter says it takes too long to get me off my soapbox. Ask him. Or even Jack. Please continue rambling at my expense. I mean, geez, it just makes sense. Power should be redistributed amongst all of us, not just the few. Communism would actually work for Kindred, where it fails with humans. It's just common sense, you know? I wonder something else from you. Yeah? The parents of the Anarch. It's a sham, a pyramid scheme. Nothing but musty, withdrawn elders waging power struggles for no other reason than to keep their own ass alive for one more century. You think you have any real power in the cam? You're kidding yourself. Its architecture is still mysterious to me. Shards of insight are all I gather. You'd be better off without them. You'll see. That may be insightful or not. I will return when I'm sure. Whew, that was a lot. 
We've picked up some tasks, fun with pestilence, find the plague bearer, start by talking with Paul at Skyline Apartments, and attention whore, deal with Patty for Skelter, she's at confession. And we have other people to check in with. Oh, and old existing tasks, including Regent's Riddle, come find me where burns the mystical sun, M. Strauss, Tremere Regent. There burns the mystical sun. Strauss's chantry lies hither. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, there's a gang war in progress. Let's watch. Bandanas versus Windbreakers. Windbreakers win. Don't mind if I do. Alright, let's talk to this joker right here. Player, what's the score? How they hang? Good evening and all that commotion. Welcome to Fat Larry's Trucker Mac, the only store for all your needs after 10 o'clock. I am the proprietor and salesman of the month several years in a row. The ladies call me, oh God, but you can call me Fat Larry with a F-A-T, because I know I got a weight problem. I just don't give a fuck. Batman, I am powerless from resisting your bizarre mobile. Delight me. Are you a merchant of the ill-gotten, illegal, and inferior? Oh, man, you been feeding on that rock, kid? Nah, 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 brother. I don't sell none of that no more. Mm, you got some crazy eyes on you. Believe me, I don't have to see the freeze-dried ice cream to know a space cadet when I see one. I could go for some freeze-dried ice cream. You offering? But I have so many loot cakes to fatten you. Hey, so you like to pipe. Didn't say I wouldn't sell you nothing. Chill. Peep this gear I got. I feel like a stone in a center store. This is a set of heavy clothing, which acts as armor. Heavy clothing has an armor rating of 1. There are no stat penalties for equipping it. Examples would be jackets, coats, thick sweaters, and sturdy trousers. I'm trying to imagine what sturdy trousers would look like. Like jeans or, well... Don't mind if I do. Let's offload some of our junk. And this, Shin Gunto, is what we got from the Kathian, aka the Asian vampire, back at Foxy Boxes. I'll hold on to that for now. Say now, brother. Seeing the kind of commando gear you been stocking up on, you ain't just using that stuff for keeping the neighbors away from your shit, is you? What of it, fat? Uh, I like to caress my weapons like a long-lost lover. Wow, wow, wow! That's your business, okay? I just figured somebody with a shopping list like yours might be up for a little action, all, all right? Sell me your desire. Yes, yes, yes. Yo, I need a hardcore, massively bionic, two-fisted yo Jimbo for a supersized skull. Straight up, hundred million dollar movie gangster. You still with me? Do you hear the voices too? Did they describe me to you? Yo, here's what's going down. I got a tip that the Chinatown Tong and some local boys are meet down at a nearby parking garage to carry out a business deal. Now, I can't tell you what they is exchanging, but let's just say a certain client of mine is ready to drop some Uncle Sam-sized bucks to acquire what's in briefcase number one. You get it for me, I'ma not only give you a cut, but I roll out my special stock as well. Now, how that sound? The fat man gets a whole cake. I want a piece of it. A big piece. Yo, man, why you gotta shake me down like that? If I hadn't just got my foot out of cast, I'd do it myself, but... Yeah, it's got to be that way. Fine. You got a discount. But only after I get the briefcase. I am your action figure. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Now, 
If you're the straight out hard boy Terminator type, I'd suggest you buy some heavy firepower before you roll up to the parking garage. You need anything? Eh, I'm good here. My greatest weapon is knowledge, and laser beam eyes. Be back soon. Free murder weapon used in a gang war. Yoink. Ah. Goodness gracious. Avert your eyes, you fiend. I'll spare you the joke. You know the one. It tells itself, but I'll take the high road. Just this once. Hope it was good for you too, friend. Vampires are extraordinarily resilient to gunfire. Use blades and disciplines to combat vampires and other supernaturals more effectively. Everybody comes in here's got to have a short house rules. Inhibition's the first thing to go. Do more of these and you'll be telling me your nastiest, dirtiest stories. I am your beat priestess, and it's time to confess. What name do I shout in a crowd to summon you? Gothic architecture, gothic colors, gothic clothes, that would make you a... Venus was her name. Got anything you want to confess? If sin was mud, I would be a pig but I may not share. Several moons had passed since the madness crept in. It was my own hands which launched buildings in Santa Monica. Nothing I cannot choke back. Oh, no matter how many times I hear that line, it never gets any more believable. So what's your thing, hmm? Stealing from work, sex in graveyards, watching the neighbor's daughter with the lights off? These pages are filled with deeds more macabre. Hmm. Starting fires under asses and painting the flames. Oh yeah? I've been waiting for someone like you to come in here. You see, I've got this situation that's gotten a little out of hand and I need someone to inform some people that they won't be getting paid this month. Intrigued yet? The ears salivate. Continue. Well, the parking lot next to the Empire Hotel. Couple of guys, Russian accents, bit thick. I need you to tell them Venus doesn't have their money. That's it. The task speaks to my will. That's it? My brain shall twist around your offer. What will be my prize? Drinks on the house. For a week. I delight in seeing the forefathers. My self-esteem is fine. You want to tell Whatever, off, I can do that. The question is, are you worth it? Past no doubt, I speak to the Tsar's children. Hmm, I expected you'd bite. Empire Hotel, tell them I'm broke. You can run, right? Never mind. Just don't go starting any street fights, all right? These guys are connected. Anyhow, a lot of people have yet to confess to the beat priestess. Later, darling. I will be as the wind. <sighs> and you. <laughs> I knew you'd talk to me. I swear you were all, like, totally drawn to me. I'm surprised I don't know you. I usually meet all the L.A. vampires out on the scene. Not a lot of you out tonight, which is weird, because I don't know of any parties going on. Any magnetism is purely your perception playing pranks. No, come on. It's totally cool. I'm Patty. Seriously, everyone knows me. Besides, I just wanted to ask you if you've seen someone. Someone? Always. Everywhere. With names unknown. His name is Kent Allen Ryan. He's a Toreador. Really good looking. Dresses really well. Like all Prada, usually. Kent? No. Allen? No. Ryan? No. Kent Allen Ryan? Yes. <laughs> that joker. Oh, oh. Don't know him. Oh, yes. A Toreador. Room like a show cat. Yes, I have beheld him. You are totally awesome. <laughs> well, it just goes to show you that you don't have to dress cool or have a lot of power to be a cool person. <laughs> so, where is Kent? A puddle found him behind the house of God. He is obviously outside, cursing it. My eyes must have been blind and my mind stupid because I didn't see him. He clings glasses with the trendiest tailored suits in San Diego. 
Oh, Solve that is totally Kent. He's so like that. I better go find him. He needs my help to do anything. Thanks again. This doesn't resolve the overarching threat to the masquerade. We're just preparing to make it San Diego Kindred's problem. Hey, enjoy your new problem, San Diego Kindred. I'm sure if you go, he'll be happy to have his pet back. Suppose we should go speak with those mobsters, and then we'll visit Skyline. A confession. Venus Dare wants you to go to the parking lot next to the Empire Arms Hotel and tell the Russians that she doesn't have their money. Confession, bitch, send you. Where are your handlers, Grizzly Bear? I hail from Venus. Money. Where is money? The goddess's ties are slight this month, Grizzly. Please forgive her. No money? I only relay the goddess's message. Do not maul me, mighty Grizzly. No. You are thicker than the forest you live in, Grizzly. You must be hungry, Grizzly. But look, your friends are salmon. Salmon. You must eat salmon. The big question is whether they give a shit about me. And here I am daring them to. No takers then. Dibs on this. Have fun, boys. How delightful. We told him his friends are salmon. His immediate response was salmon. He could taste it, but he drew his glock. Pretty sure that's not how you fish for salmon, Grizzly. What? It's a nice night out. Your huh? message was delivered, Goddess. I can't hear you. Let's talk in my office. Done. Of course, it's no louder than it was Believe when she me. asked us to deal with those mobsters. Someone clearly wants privacy. But isn't it a little late for that, Venus? Well, you certainly did better than my bouncer did. Poor dear can't turn his neck to the right anymore. <laughs> Already had a call from Boris. Wasn't too happy about tonight, son of a bitch. Say, how would you like to get into the club business, hmm? Hmm? I was distracted by the voices. Boris? Like a new moon, I am attractive, but not shining. It is not as exciting as a tilt-a-whirl, but yes. Well, to start this club, I have to take out a significant loan from a king bastard by the name of Boris, and every time I haven't been able to make the monthly plus interest, the bastard takes what he feels is a suitable late fee. Babble until exhaustion, goddess. I've got a club to run, so I'll be blunt. I refuse to... Fuck that fat, misogynistic old man one more time to hold on to the club. So I need someone to eliminate him. Do this, and I'll make you a silent partner. Killed I am, but killer I am not. I will become Mars to save you from Vulcan, love goddess. Goddess, you profess simplicity. Boris is high up in the Russian Mafia. Does that make a difference? Yes, yes. Still, I will assassinate the Tsar. If it still breathes, it cannot best me, you will see. My morals fail me in this battle. I must retreat. Paupers and kings are equally humbled by death. He's at the Empire Hotel. Always has a few of the fiercest bully boys standing around trying to outsneer each other. He's got a short temper, and more than likely he's been drinking for the last four hours. Here, key to the penthouse level. Yes, the Tsar's reign will end shortly. It would be tempting to feed on her. Call it a drink on the house. But I'm pretty sure it glitches her. So I guess we're teetotaling. Venus Dare. Password is slave. Tonight? From Larry. Of Truck of Mac fame? I thought we might get together tonight if it pleases you, mistress. Aw, how adorable. Doing that. Mother shan't be too pleased. None too pleased. 
I don't know how Venus would feel about being called mother, but okay. Larry and Venus have a situation going on. Sub Dom from the sound of it. Good evening to you all this. Well then, let's explore Skyline's many, many floors. 